Laguna Seca Raceway in Monterey, California is home to one of the world's biggest mountain bike festivals, the Sea Otter Classic. So today we're going to dive into all that and to look at some bikes and some tech. Wow, this looks good fun. Felt Surplus E Mountain Bike comes in at $3,400, so that means it's a really good entry level e bike. Um, Shimano E7000 motor on this with this that really neat little display up there, and the, of course the switch here. Uh, some great angles on it 67 degree head angle, 440 chainstay, and that really low bottom bracket. I reckon you should check that out. Okay, I'm at the KMC stand, uh, two e-bike specific chains here. You've got the, uh, the standard silver one, and I'm really interested in this anti-rust coating e-bike chain. Now, very recently we did a video on how to get the best out of your e-bike chain. This is a KMC digital e-bike chain checker. Look at that. Wow, this has got to be one of the coolest e-mountain bikes I have ever seen. It's a brand called Forestal from Andorra. Now, obviously, anything that comes from Andorra is going to have something to do with a man called Cedric Gracia. Uh, famous World Cup downhill racer, four-cross racer. Probably raced a lot on these hills up here, uh, Cedric, right? Yeah, kind of strange to come this year and just look at the events, but I guess we have uh, another target this year. The target is this, the Forestal e-bike. Now, this is just one, this is a prototype bike, it's one in a range, right? Uh, Rafa, first of all, let's, let's talk about the, the heart of this bike. You've got your own motor and your own battery, is that correct? Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about about it? Is it how many watt hours? How many watts is the motor and the and the battery on here? That's going to be complicated isn't it, to tell. <laughs> <laughs> We're still in prototype stage, so we have to keep the secret. But uh, batteries are going to be around 350. Yeah. But consider that we are developing our own battery motor, so we get like a much better efficiency. Yeah. Uh, that's been tested, so it's been working already. But we need to still find out final figures, how it's going to be all uh, mounted in the bike. Yeah. Yeah. What, what strikes me is it's it seems quite a light bike, even and this is like an aluminium prototype. Sure, surely the production is going to be super light, right? That's the question. Everybody wants to uh, hear the answer, <laughs> but we cannot tell you. We cannot tell you. No, but uh, I'm guessing it's going to be about thirty-five pounds easy. Just, just tonight, after a couple of days, uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe tonight, maybe maybe we slip some tonight, but so far we can't. What about, uh, so you're going to have a range of e-bikes, what, what travel are we talking? We are talking uh, travels for trail bikes, enduro bikes and enduro long travel bikes, so that will go from 150 rear to 170, yeah. and front 150 to 170. Now, uh, seeing such a spectacularly different design, people are going to want to know when they can buy these e-mountain bikes. Uh, well, if they plan to change their bike in the next year, save the money. We will start to, well, we will do the presentation early 2020. But the presentation will be done when the bikes are ready to sell. Okay. Like we say, we try to think outside the box with this project. The good thing, we have people on board and I come from aviation, car racing and motorcycle kind of famous brand people in. And where's the bike going to be made? When or where? Where's, is, so, uh, two questions. Where's it going to be made and are you going to be selling complete bikes or just frame kits? It's going to be complete bikes and all made in Andorra. Design, manufacture and build in Andorra. Uh, Rafa, one last question. Um, frame sizes. What, what are you aiming? You aim to have a range of frame sizes? Yeah, or? From S to extra large. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great, guys. Amazing job. Thanks for spending the time. Uh, can't wait to have a spin on it one day. Save your money. Sure. Save your money. Save your money. 220, you can go. What? Now, tyres are critical on e-bikes for many reasons. Not only just for grip, but also for battery longevity as well. Uh, now, this pivot here has got a Maxxis Recon on it with a really low profile uh, tread pattern. So you're probably going to get, if you're riding fire you're going to get quite a lot of battery life out of the bike. However, what I'm excited about is riding these Asagai tyres here like you have on uh, Greg Menard's World Cup downhill bike. Uh, the Asagai comes in a 2.5 width and it really is super, super soft. However, they, not only have they got the uh, downhill casing one, they're coming out in a few weeks' time. Uh, if I butt into Brandon here, sorry Brandon, let's pick this up. They've actually got this one which is uh, a lighter 
trail specific tyre and this weighs in at 1100 grams, 1100 grams compared to the Acid Guide download which is 13, 13, 1350. Okay, so there you go, that's the trailer version, 1100 grams and the download version 1300 grams. Uh, really good tyre for e-bike riding. Now we're on a pretty massive e-bike stand from Giant and I'm joined by uh, Elise from Liv. Elise, what is Liv? Liv is a women's mountain bike brand. We're the sister brand to Giant, um, but what's really special about our brand is that we're building women's bikes from the ground up. Yeah. So all of our geometry is different, um, and a really special part of our brand is all of the community that we have behind our brand and really bringing resources to women to ultimately get more women on bikes. But not just mountain bikes, you make women-specific e-mountain bikes, right? Correct, yeah. So this bike here now has a Yamaha PWX motor, the same as the Trance, right? Yeah. Uh, how much travel have we got on this bike here? This is the Live. This is the Live Intrigue. Intrigue E. So this is actually a women's carbon mountain bike that we have on our standard lineup that we brought into an e-bike, um, and this one has 150 millimeter in the front and 140 in the rear. Yeah. Can you tell us what the main differences are between that bike and the non-women specific bike? Well, most importantly, it's built from the ground up by women, so that's a huge difference. Um, but what's different about our bikes is the geometry. The geometry is specifically made for women, whereas we may have shorter torsos and different power outages too. So the, the carbon is laid differently. Our bikes are made in ways that make riding more, more comfortable and uh, really use women's power to their advantage. Now this bike here, the women's specific bike, comes in four sizes from extra small up to large. And if you look at the reach numbers, the extra small comes in at 404 millimeter reach and the large is at 451. Okay, at least thanks for that. Uh, I guess the message is get out and try out an e-mountain bike. Do Giant have or, or do Liv have e-demo uh, events in North America? We do, yeah. If you go into livecycling.com, go to our events section, you'll be able to see where and when a demo is coming around to you. Okay, perfect. Thanks very much. Thank you. The YT decoy. Now there's three models in the range. This is the CF Pro, uh, which means there's a carbon front and rear on the bike. Now, a key feature of this bike is a 29 inch wheel up front and a 27.5 on the rear. Uh, interestingly, they have a 32 millimeter rim up front and a 35 millimeter rim on the rear. What I really like about the YT decoy is the really neat uh, cockpit area. They've got an E7000 display and the shifter on the left hand side there, plus the STG saddle. And in general, it's just super, super simple. Really like it. Now, I'm sure it's not the first time we're going to see the Shimano E8000 motor in here, but what YT have done is they've got their own custom battery. It's a 540 watt hour battery located in the down tube. And obviously what YT have tried to do is create a mountain bike silhouette. And I think they've done a really good job of it. Uh, in the future, I think YT aim to get a 700 watt hour battery in there. Uh, and people who buy these bikes and want to upgrade, they can do that at a discounted price later on. Now, it's a big hitting component spec on this bike. It's got uh, 200 mil rotors, code brakes, um, down tires. It's got a Minion DHR, DHF up front and a DHR on the rear. Now, what I didn't mention is actually it's E13's e-bike specific wheel set on there. Um, 32 hole front and rear. Now, at the Eurobike show last year, we saw a hall dedicated to uh, e-bike motor manufacturers from all parts of the world. Uh, here in Sea Otter, I've come across this brand called Vinca, who have actually been in the motor industry supplying motors for 20 years or more, but they've actually been, this has been in development for, uh, for about eight years now. Uh, and with Charles and Julia from Vinca Motor. Um, Julia, where, where is Vinca Motor based? Uh, our company based in Suzhou, China. Oh, that's where Bafang Motors is as well, right? Yeah, because Suzhou got a lot of motor factories, yeah. and we are one of them. But we are um, cars. We have been in this industry for eight years, but 20 years before we are car suppliers for 20 years, okay. and eight years before we step into the middle motor factory industry, and we think the middle motor field is growing. Yeah, definitely. Charles, uh, can you tell me about the characteristics about this motor? How many, tell me about uh, how many watts, how many newton meters of torque, what's the weight, is it quiet? Yeah, yeah. Our motor is uh, 350 watts and uh, 8 newton meters. Our best advantage is the low quiet. Uh, yes, and our low temperature when you climb the mountain and even uh, very powerful. 
So quiet, low temperature, and yeah, 80 newton meters of torque. Yeah. That's comparable to say the uh, the Bros, which is 90, 90 newton meters, and the Yamaha, which is 70 newton meters. Yeah. So, uh, and you've actually got a bike which is behind us here. Um, so, is this is this your own bike, or is this is this another brand? Uh, this is one of no. I'm the I'm uh, I'm the agent for Winker, and this is our brand called Trayer. And this is the first, uh, uh, you know, the Chinese brand that are using Winker for for selling in the market. Yeah. And we have been keep testing off road. And uh, this time we bring this completely back here to show people how Winker performs. Uh, I just wanted to ask you about the uh, the battery. There, how many watt hours is the battery? Uh, Five hundred watt hours. Okay, right. Wow. And cost? How much is one of these bikes going to cost? Uh, how much does it cost? And maybe I can send you a quotation later. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. Hey, thanks for your time and uh, yeah, looks your motor and your bike looks great. Thank you. Pretty slick, no travel, gravel. Still, I'd like to ride it nonetheless. Uh, skinny tires, no seat drop, uh, 120 mil stem. And I really like this display. I've not seen this Shimano display on it before. Disc brakes, but not the disc brakes we normally see on e-mountain bikes. Those look like about 120 mil rotors. Now it's not just the harder hitting e-mountain bikes which you've got clean cockpits such as the YT decoy. Um, this BMC has got E8000 left and right. On the left uh, controls the power mode, what, what, what level of power assist you've got. On the right hand side it's got the DI2 shifter. Now you can switch these around left or right. So pretty cool feature which you've not seen before. So that's it from day one at Sea Otter on the west coast of America. It's quite interesting, it's quite different brands and uh, tech here compared to what we found at Rock Deserve back in October. Actually, if you want to check that video out, it's uh, just down by here in the link. Uh, let's know your comments on uh, the products we featured on today's video. I think it's time for me to go and check out the new stuff from these guys.